What is up guys, welcome back to another play review. Today we're going to be looking at Inform Fernandinho. Many of you requested him. I'm actually surprised I haven't reviewed him sooner, but today is the day. So, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code Uton to get 5% off. So, Inform Fernandinho, he goes for around 150k, but he I've seen many people use him as a central defensive midfielder. I don't think he is good in that position the reason for that is he is weak so it's simple as that he has very high aggression but there is no point of having that aggression if you're if you have like 45 strength so what is the point you're not going to be able to push off defenders off the ball maybe you you might be able to intercept defend uh so not defenders strikers and midfielders with inform fernandinho because he does have very high interception uh interception stats so i chose to play him as a central attacker midfielder and he is really really good in that position i think i might be going as far as saying that he he might be the best in that position in the Premier League. Now, let me know who you think is the best central attacking midfielder in the Premier League. Just the Premier League, not in the whole of Ultimate Team. For me, Infant Fernandinho is really good in that position. He has those passing stats. He has that long shot taker uh, trait. Even though his long shots aren't that great in my opinion, he will still be able to score them within 20 to 30 yards. But long distance, I didn't think his shot power was exactly that high like his in-game stats. But he has that aggression and it will help you dribble past defenders. Even though he is really weak, sometimes his aggression kicks in and you'll be able to put up a fight against defenders while you're attacking with him. Now his passing and his positioning was very, very surprising. I love to cross the ball with him because Benteke always heads it into the back of the net from corners. And also, when you're doing over-the-top through balls, his ones are really overpowered. I know they're overpowered overall in the game, but this guy's over-the-top through balls are really over Overpowered. You'll see a couple with Eto not finishing, uh, you know, the over the top ball. He wasn't finishing the opportunities, but Fernandinho was assisting him a lot of the time. And same with Benteke. Now, in for Fernandinho, I really liked him overall. He has full star weak foot and he's an okay finish in the penalty area. Don't expect him to be amazing. He's an okay finish. I think he has like 74 finishing, so he's okay. Um, really good shot power and decent long shots. Very good passing and crossing, and he makes very, very good runs. That is what I love about him a lot of the time he doesn't stand still he's all over the place he he's trying to make space when you need him to and he just really good i don't know as soon as i put him in he made a big difference to the team really enjoyed using him as a central attacking midfielder maybe you could choose to use him as a central midfielder as well he works in that position but as a central defensive midfielder he's just too weak in my opinion also for a central attacking midfielder his pace is a bonus because normally you don't even need pace in that position but he has like 81 82 pace and he feels really fast as well so that is just a bonus for me but you'll see a lot of cutback goals in this video because he's just always there and why would I miss the opportunity just to, you know, pass it to him and open goal. But he's always there when you need him and that's exactly what I wanted to show in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, let me know in the comment section below, guys, who you want me to review next. And I hope you have a very nice day.